here's what everybody's been waiting for. Martin to get back to the great white north, all that snow and cold. Well, not too bad out here. About minus seven Fahrenheit. Gonna get a lot colder coming up, so we're thankful for minus seven Fahrenheit. Did a little shoveling to get the, the out back so it moves back and forth and getting ready to make our initial thrust into the cabin. We got three miles of breaking snow with the skis and then I hope to get the snow dog going and come out and haul our supplies in the easy way. We've got some minor challenges here with the wet snow this fall brought down stuff like this but we can break it off. It's cold enough it breaks. It's been a hard slog but I finally made it into the halfway point and the trails will be a lot easier from now to the cabin but my concern is that okay, okay here comes my <laughs> yell Kevin yeah. louder hey there's something familiar coming up signed to Hawks Pond it means we only got a nice mile to get to the cabin pardon my heavy breathing but been a tough road in today. I think we're about over three hours pushing snow, cutting trees, cutting brush, and about 15 inches of snow at the worst. Sometimes in the under the trees it was really nice going, but as a rule, I think I'm feeling my age. Okay, Kevin, let's get moving. There's a the shawl. I'll give you a pie for every hundred feet you get cleared. I need to pause here now and get get everyone caught up on what's been going on. Well, we got into the cabin there about all three o'clock in the afternoon, and it was it was getting pretty late, but we managed to get some things shoveled out and got some food in. We had the food in the cabin that I left there the last time, but I planned on getting the snow dog fired up and going out and bringing a nice sled full of food back in. Well, I got snow dog fired up and I horsed it about a mile out toward the vehicle, but I realized I wasn't going to make it back before dark. and I didn't have the strength to horse that thing in all that soft snow anyway. So after a mile, I turned around and came back to the cabin. And I knew we had food and I knew we had a can of tuna and some tuna helpers, so we weren't going to starve. Kevin was pretty concerned when we got there about, oh, what do you mean we didn't bring any food in? Well, he didn't realize I had three tubs full of food but when I showed him that he, he calmed down a little bit well then I did have that snow dog track pushed out a mile and when uh, drone man David came along about an hour later he was happy about that because he was pulling the sled through all that snow and he got to that nice track and he came in and that worked out well and he had a little more food in his pack so between the two and a helper and some nice pasta salad he had we had a we had a pretty nice supper well that concluded Wednesday and then, no, 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 that concluded Thursday now. Okay, Wednesday we, we drove up. Thursday we got out there. So then Friday we woke up and we had a lot of we had a lot of serious bird watching we were planning on doing, doing some surveys and things. So we were busy doing that, and that's when it picks up here. We came back for lunch, and grown man David and his food back, he had these North Country steaks in there that we get frying up. What do you got cooking there, Martin? We got North Country steaks going here. Round steaks. Kind of, kind of. I got them steered on one side. How do you like them? Uh, medium, rare? I'd say medium. medium. All right, all right. They got to go a while longer then. That's what our roast them up system. Uh, you can smell them out here. I suppose they can't smell them on the camera. No, probably not. But uh, that means they must be getting starting to bubble. Yeah. How's it going there? Oh. We uh, we had a little visitor. What? Coming to check. check I just had them. That looks pretty good, Martin. What do you got? I call these North Country steaks, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. You're gonna hit the hit the. There, well, what is it? We're up to. Oh my gosh, we're up to eight below zero. Eight below Fahrenheit. zero. This would be a little fortifying. 
I gotta, I gotta run out to get some real good meat out of the, out of the cooler out there. Well, uh, we kept it in the cooler out at the vehicle out by the road, so we didn't thaw. See, so <laughs> what was that? Won't be time? a problem at 20 below. Yeah, right, right. I don't think so. But it's three miles away, and that's an issue. So anyway, well, this will get us at least part way there. Right. I think all the, all the fat in these, these North Country steaks. They fortified us because we had that long trek um, three miles out and three miles back at, you know, about 10 below zero. There in the late in the afternoon, and we had to get out there to get some, some more of our real food pulled in because we knew the, the bottom was dropping out of that thermometer in the coming hours. And so we got out and we got out there and we had a decent ski out. We came back in and I thawed out some venison backstrap and some hot water and we had a pretty decent meal for the evening and then we went to bed and then we woke up with uh well we'll see here i told you it was going to get cold we were fortunate we dropped down to a solid 30 below fahrenheit there but even though we'd only been in the cabin for you know less than 48 hours we'd had the fire going good and so the walls were warmed up so you notice there at uh you know, we're 30 below outside, but we're a very cozy 80 plus. And that's quite a ways away from the wood stove, too. So that was rather amazing that that worked out so well. Just to make sure that our thermometer was giving us a true good reading there. I don't want to be telling any tall tales from the cabin. So I went out and I checked our outside thermometer here, which for all you Celsius people, you can look right there. You can figure that one out. I don't even have to do the calculations in my head for you. One job you don't want to do at 30 below zero, but at least we have the toilet seat hanging behind the wood stove, so it's nice and warm. You can get up and move. With snow crunching like that. You know it's 30 below. You been in that whiskey again? <laughs> Wasn't supposed to tell you that. <sighs> A few days ago, we spent three hours busting and cutting our way in here. And then yesterday, we were out playing around, looking for birds, and put in about nine miles apiece between busting through the deep snow and everything, and so. Woke up this morning, 31 below zero Fahrenheit. Getting near noon now, we warmed all the way up to 18 below Fahrenheit. I went outside, changed the batteries out. We fed our birds a little bit of food. We're still here. Forecast call for a little warmer by this afternoon, so maybe we'll stick our noses outside for more than that, but otherwise, hey, below. guy needs to rest. Well, by the way, this is a two-pot day. First cup out of the second pot. Just brought in two world-famous cherry pies and got them over here. Probably put them in a pan up here a little bit, let them warm up. That'll be our treat.
my bed is just inside that wall. Been here a couple nights now and it's still pretty cool down there so rather than going up on top where it's too hot, I'll get some snow piled around here and then I'll be just right. There is 15 inches of snow most every place else, but every year because the trees held, hold it up there on that east side of that cabin, where I need the snow, it's always so shallow right there. Sometimes it's bare ground the way it blows around there. Kevin's bed's down that way. Maybe I'll do him a favor, maybe I won't. Got a real nice supply of fresh water hanging there for the taking. This your first time outside, Kevin? First time today. Is it after 12? It's about 12.30. All right, okay, well. About seven, eight degrees below, so it's looking better. I was just out here, had to make up my mind whether I was gonna shovel some snow against where your bed is or not. And I heard that, I was just coming out and checking on you. Well, I did a little bit, but you might wanna go out there and touch it up. Get a little go. higher. It might be necessary tonight. Yeah. They're still talking down almost 30 below again. Yeah, yeah, that's getting chilly. I see there's frost coming out the, the bottom here. It must be the... the uh, I think there's right? a lot of hot air going on inside around yeah. that wood stove this morning. 80 degrees in there. A lot of hot air. People talking. Did big it? stories. <laughs> yeah, we had some good ones.